you see the science of chakra shuddhi is integral part of spiritual progress gurudev swami satyanand ji used to say that uh, no matter what sadhana you do no matter what you do the ultimate impact always up happens on the chakras on the nadis and therefore on the kundalini energy and as the kundalini energy gets refined and more active then there is the bringing out of the genius within us and this genius can be in the material life can be in the professional life can be in the spiritual life it can be in any dimension we want swami ji used to say that we have two types of energy circuits within us one is the ordinary energy circuit i like to understand them in the manner of electricity with electricity we can apply electricity and do many many activities and do many things in the same way this ordinary elect, uh, energy which is there within us allows us to do the mundane activities in life automated activities but there is also a higher energy in the atom which provides us electric energy through the electrons we receive electricity but the atom can also provide a much higher level of energy if we go to the nucleus and have reactions called fusion and fission then we can have the nuclear energy which can be detonated from the atom and this nuclear energy is a 100000 times more powerful than electric energy if we can do so much using electricity imagine how much we would be able to do with nuclear energy constructive aspect of course not destructive in the same way our normal energy and normal energy circuits allow us to function in the world as we are but if we want to become a genius extraordinary then we need to start working with this higher energy but this higher energy is very dangerous as we know in the example of nuclear energy almost anybody with some training can work with electricity you have hundreds and thousands and crores of electricians all over the place but how many nuclear scientists are there very few why because that is a science which is fraught with danger one small mistake and it can create great destruction as we have seen in the past also the same holds true with this internal higher energy is very very powerful it can unleash unimaginable capabilities within us but if we are not careful it can create problems what is it that we mean by not careful it means that the pathways need to be clear if there is electricity flowing across and there are breaks in the electric wire the electricity will not flow and there can be accidents in the same way when this energy is up here and the pathways are not clear then there can be accidents the energy can try and move through a different direction so if that happens then it can lead to severe accidents how can we avoid these accidents by preparing the infrastructure upgrading the infrastructure and getting ready that is what chakra shuddhi is all about there are 
seven main chakras and swami ji spoke of the eighth as bindu visarg which is can be considered as a minor chakra but in the path of spiritual evolution swami ji said that bindu plays a very important role so we need to understand more about these chakras and know how we can purify ourselves prepare the grounds in fact the asan the pranayam the premeditative practices which we do are all precursors for this purification tempering upgrading this is what we will be learning in the chakra shuddhi series there are specific impacts of each chakra there are specific practices which we need to do slowly if somebody says that oh within one week i can uh, achieve everything no please know that you cannot become a nuclear scientist overnight even you can't become an electrician overnight you need to train yourself for an year then you can work with electricity imagine how much you would have to train to work with nuclear energy in the same manner simple yogic practices are very easy to practice but as you go deeper and deeper their impacts become subtler and more profound so as not to go the wrong way to avoid accidents what are the steps to be taken what are the practices to be done so that the hidden genius within us awakens and once this hidden genius has been awakened before the genius awakens we should know how we can channelize that energy if not that can be very destructive so these are the various aspects which have to be understood and that is what we will be discussing in this session